All right, uh, this is a test of the video camera to make sure that it still works. Does it still work? We'll find out. All right, well, it turns out the video camera is still working, so let's go. Welcome, everyone. Good evening. My name is Dan. I work for Maniacal Labs, and I have a treat for you this evening. We have been, uh, well... I say we, really it's, it's my uh, esteemed colleague Adam that has been very busy writing some uh, wizardy software bits that have allowed us to do some pretty cool things. I myself, as you can see from the, shall we say, um, well, it's not too bad. It's been worse. Anyway, what I'm getting at is my desk is messy, but it is messy with awesome. Let's take a look at what we got. Some of you may have seen this before. This is my uh, 5x20 WS2801. Uh, kind of threw it together in an afternoon LED matrix. So we got that. That's cool. Uh, we got a, a roll of uh, LPD8806 LEDs. Those are fun. And we've got from our good friends at Wyolum, or Wyolum, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I apologize. But uh, they sent us, uh, for test purposes, they sent us some nifty bits. We have two, count them two, of the Tiny Tim Matrix displays. We got the Tim with its all pixel. It's hooked up and ready to go. And of course, we have the all pixel for the uh, pegboard matrix display. That's all hooked up. So you might be asking yourself, well, gee, why do you have all of that stuff hooked up at the same time? Enough waffling. Let's get on with the show. So I know some of you may have seen our recent announcement about the multi-driver support that has recently been added to the BiblioPixel uh, Python code, which basically means that we can plug in uh, four or more uh, all pixels into one machine, uh, configure each one of them to drive a different quantity and type of LEDs, and string them together and communicate with them as, that, as if it were one giant display. So... Enough looking at the computer screen. Mash the button. Button has been mashed. What happened? It is beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. So as you can see, we have one, two, three different kinds of LED chipsets plugged together and all communicating as one. And just to show you exactly what's going on behind the scenes, I've set up a uh, simple Larson scanner animation to show how each of the LEDs are addressed when they are in this multi-display configuration. They uh, are essentially treated as a giant LED strip, but uh, there are ways, of course, to configure this in a uh, more uh, recognizable XY matrix configuration. And for more on that, here's Adam with a quick code and visualizer demo to show how you go about setting something like that up. In this demo, you'll see how to use multiple drivers to make one large cohesive display out of smaller sub-displays. We're going to use driver visualizer so you can see it right on your computer. And we're using three driver visualizer instances, one of 8x8, another of 8x8, and one of 16x8. We'll use the built-in Multi-Map Builder class, which will help us concatenate all of the coordinate maps. Use MapGen to add a row with an 8x8 and another 8x8, and then add another row with a 16x8. We then take the output of that and set it to the chord map parameter on LED matrix. We'll also then set the driver parameter to a list of all three drivers and set threaded updates to true, which allows all three to update simultaneously in the background. Notice that the width and height is 16 by 16, the full width and height of the entire cohesive display. We'll then run the bloom animation, run that script from the console, and all three visualizers will start. As you can see, it's running the animation, but spread across three different visualizers of two different sizes. That's all there is to it. And just to show you that we're not fooling around, here is the same demonstration that you just saw, 
but on actual hardware. We've got the uh, tim on top and two tiny tims on the bottom for a pretty nice looking 16 by 16 matrix display. So thank you for your time and for your interest. Uh, if you have any questions, we will have uh, links down below uh, for how to get in touch with us and uh, how to stay informed as to the uh, current status of the All Pixel project. That'll be it for this evening. On behalf of Maniaca Labs, I am Dan. Thank you very much, and uh, keep making cool stuff.